Hello and welcome to this 40k vlog. Um, first of all, before we get into what we're talking about today, I just want to say a huge, huge thank you to all of my subscribers. Um, yesterday when I posted that episode of Rules Lawyers, as you could probably tell, I was kind of a bit fed up and annoyed. Um, and I know a lot of you will think, hey, you're on the internet, just develop some thicker skin, you know, people are going to criticise you and stuff. But, um, yeah, it does bother me, and the response I got from you guys was absolutely fantastic. And you all did so much to make me feel happier and, you know, make me want to produce more content. Because, to be honest, yesterday, like, um, with some of the comments I got on my battle report, I was just like, ah, fuck it, I'm not going to do any more battle reports then, if that's what people say. But, yeah, you guys were absolutely fantastic, so thank you all so much. Like I said, 99.99... <laughs> 99.9999% of my subscribers are just brilliant people and that was shown overwhelmingly yesterday with the the phenomenal support you guys give me so thank you so so much um, I wouldn't have a channel if it wasn't for you guys I wouldn't be anywhere if it wasn't for you guys with this this 40k stuff so um, thank you all so so much you guys are just brilliant um, anyway enough about that um, today we're going to have a light-hearted and fun vlog with no <laughs> no rants from me, no negativity, and it's all going to be a big laugh, hopefully, because what we're going to be discussing today is the sweatiest list of all time. And for anyone not familiar with my channel, um, more commonly uh, that's known as a cheesy list, where you just take absolute cheese. I call it a sweaty list, and the idea being you're trying so hard to win with this list, you're just perspiring and just sweat is just drooping down you as you play on this horrible sweaty list. So what do I mean by a sweaty list? You know, what are some examples? Well, it's when you get the best codex in the game, effectively, or a very strong codex. And it's not... Cause you don't play that because you enjoy that codex or you like the fluff. You just go out and buy it because it's the best. And having bought it, you then just go out and just buy the best units in the game at that particular time and spam them. So... What is the sweatiest list you've ever played is is the question for the day. Um, and I'm going to talk you through, as, to the best of my memory, what the sweatiest list I've come up against is. And then I'm going to throw it back to you guys. And uh, I want you to comment back. And it like if you can do it exactly, like if you can do it vaguely, just like, oh yeah, he took three Helldrakes. Like, that's cool. But if you can just talk me through, to the best of your memory, what the sweatiest list was in its entirety, that would be kind of funny. And I want to read all about, you know, the arsehole lists you guys have played, or even fielded. You know, there's nothing wrong with being a sweaty player. Um, it's just kind of uh, entertaining. So, just talk me through the sweatiest lists um, you're aware of, or you've come up against. And then, if I get, like, a lot of these, I might do a, um, a second video of... Uh, uh, a second video, like a follow-up to this, where we just, uh, I go through and just discuss these, like, obscenely sweaty lists you guys have put down. Right, so, I've played quite a few sweaty lists, I've played against them a few times in my, uh, my 40k career, but there's always one that stands out to me, and I've talked about it before on this channel, but today I'm gonna run through it, to the best of my memory, exact. Like, you know, I can't remember what the equipment and stuff, but I can talk you through pretty much what he had. Um, and this was truly just so sweaty. Like, the moment I met my opponent, sweat began just pouring from him, and he became, um, put it this way, the, like, my subscribers from the US may not know this guy, but pause this video and look up Lee Evans doing stand-up. That's how sweaty this guy was. He was as sweaty as Lee Evans doing stand-up. Um, so, right, this was his list. I went down to my local, uh, gaming, uh, club and I was looking around for people to play and this older guy um, you know I'd say he was about 50 a big moustache was like yeah I'll give you a game and I was like okay let's 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 play and he was like yeah I'm bringing chaos and necron allies and I was like all right and this was his list now bearing in mind this was sort of at the very beginning of six and don't get me wrong flyers are still great in this edition but at the very beginning of six flyers were just king um, there was very little anti-air we had, um, and yeah, so bear in mind that flyers were really good. This was his list, so it was Necron allies, um, uh, no sorry, Necrons with Chaos allies, so I'll go through the Chaos allies first. The Chaos allies was a Chaos sorcerer, 
a blob of um, a blob of uh, what are they called? They're equivalent of guardsmen, um, cultists. A blob of cultists, uh, which the sorcerer is surrounded in. Uh, three obliterators, and I think they had like las cannons or something to pop tanks, and a helldrake. Okay, so now that doesn't sound too sweaty. That I mean, it's got a helldrake in there, which is good, but you know, not too bad. This was the Necron, um, the Necron list he was bringing. It was basically an overlord, and then like six minimum groups of warriors, and then six night scythes then to fly in. So. And all the night sides had the Tesla cannon, where if you roll sixes to hit, you automatically get three hits with that roll, and it's strength seven. So if you fire a load of those shots, you could, like I mean, I remember he was getting like six hits per night side with strength seven shots, which was crazy. Um, so what happened in that battle report was I absolutely cleared him off the table. Well, not not completely, you know. I think he had a, a few models left. Oh, one thing I want to mention: he had like two bases of scarab swarms as well. And also, like, I think he had a n two Annihilation Barges. So all that was on the field was two Annihilation Barges, like, two or three Scarab bases, a Chaos Sorcerer with some Cultists, and some Obliterators. Every single thing else was in reserve. Because the rule is, um, you, can, you can only have half of your army in reserve unless it's Flyers, which don't count towards reserves, because they have to come up from reserves. Um, so... What happened was I absolutely just destroyed what he had on the table uh, on turn one. You know, there was barely nothing there and I had some pretty good firepower. Uh, he had a few models hanging in there because if you table someone completely, they're just wiped, but that didn't happen. Then turn two, he rolled his reserves. All seven flyers came on. All seven flyers came on. And then basically what happened was he just whizzed around the table with seven flyers, you know, with the Tesla cannons with their strength seven, and the Helldrake laying down flame templates, and there was just nothing I could do. There was literally nothing I could do. Like, um, you know, I, I was playing guard at the time, and I think this was when I only had one Vendetta. So, my one Vendetta came on and killed one, but then got taken out because he had, you know, seven flyers, and the first thing he did when he came on was, you know, take out my quad gun. So when I had no anti-air... It was just, it was just, I mean, like, the sweat of that list, I still I still remember it today. And, like, I don't begrudge the guy. I'm not like, oh, what an arsehole. I think it was, you know, he was playing a legal list, and, um, you know, it was fine. Uh, people, like, did come over and go, wow, you're playing that list, mate? Like, wow? You know, like, the community didn't really, uh, didn't really accept it. And his argument was, yeah, well, I'm going to a tournament, and this is the kind of list you'll see at tournaments, so... I'm like, yeah, but it's a casual game at your local gaming store. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Like, what... what? Okay, that's that's one thing I want you to do for me. Comment below and let me what you think of that list. Do you think that's a really sweaty list, or do you think I was just, uh, you know, exaggerating, or it's not that ba bad? Or what's your views on that list? And then, secondly, comment below and let me know the sweatiest list you've ever played. And like I say, if this gets a good response, I may do a follow-up video where we just run through some unbelievably sweaty lists. Because like I say, I think it's kind of entertaining and a good laugh. Um, probably my favourite video I ever did was that one where I talked about, you know, building sweaty lists. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's about it for today. Before I go, uh, I want to give two quick shout-outs. Uh, the links will be in the description below. And first of all, if you're a Dark Angels player, if you're a Dark Eld Eldar player, um, definitely go and check out Tactical Imperialis. Um, really, really good channel. Uh, really enjoy your stuff. And like I say, if you're a Dark Angels player, as I know I have some Dark Angels subscribers, mainly because they feature your battle reports, uh, make sure you check out his channel. If you're a Dark Eldar player, make sure you check out his channel. He's got some really good stuff. And even if you're not uh, playing one of those armies... Um, like, he's got, you know, just his general 40k vlogs are really good as well. So, that's Tactical Imperialis. Link in the description below. Um, he's also been very loyal to my channel and always likes my stuff and always comments. So, thanks a lot for that, mate, if you're listening. And last of all, um, one of my subscribers is only a, he's only a young lad. His name, uh, they're called Mini Model Gamers. And, yeah, he's awesome. He's really, really, really enthusiastic. Um... You know, his his channel's not completely polished, but hey, neither's mine. 
and I remember what my the quality of my videos was like when I first started out. But you know, these guys, their enthusiasm for the game really comes through. So if you fancy looking at their channel as well, the link will also be in the description. So that's about it for today, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed hearing about this sweaty list. You know, I thought this would be kind of entertaining for you guys. I hope so. Um, remember to comment below, let me know what you think of that list, let me know the squirtiest list you've come up against. Uh, remember to like this video and support my channel, I can't tell you how grateful I'd be if you do that, it really does help me out a lot. And last of all, if you're new to my videos, remember to hit that subscribe button, always going to be lots more to come. I hope you all have a smashing rest of your day. Yes, I said smashing instead of cracking, deal with it. <laughs> Alright, bye for now guys.